Now then, here's a thing. Uh, the, the Yankees is going back, back to the moon, apparently, after all these years, which is interesting timing, in a way, because it happened in the late 60s. Well, anybody that can clearly remember and get excited about it is either dead or, like me, into pension age like so there's not going to be a lot of people about that can sort of scrutinize nasa is going to have to be very careful here because they could give the whole game away with with the wrong sort of story or whatever uh, technical issues it could all go totally wrong for them because anybody that knows us knows fine well they were never on the moon they couldn't do it. It was all to do with the space race and the Russians. And, and they just socked it till the Russians with the biggest con that's ever gone down in the world today. Like, it's queer because the, the other day I was talking to some, well, they know my views on it, but they were, they're a good 25 years younger than me. And uh, I says, till them that. Look, why have they had to build the biggest spaceship they've ever built? And the, the guy says, well, because the guy till the moon and not the, not the uh, space station. So I'm thinking, there you go, because they're going to the moon. And I, I says, well, I rest my case, because anybody get back to us, and tell me why I didn't go any further. Bearing in mind, it's the biggest rocket. The clues in there, it's the biggest rocket they've ever built. So if anybody wants to have a debate or an argument or whatever you want to call it, I, I don't argue, I just discuss things and uh, there you go. I've said my piece. But uh, let's see if NASA totally balls this, this up with a bad commentary. Because uh, the thing... Right, there's not enough folk gonna bother themselves now. It, it's a lot of years ago. They're all in the 70s or late 60s. And uh, let's just uh, start again and get on. But we'll see. Huh?